Hey there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Colonia, Uruguay. And today we're going to talk about the five things you should eat and enjoy when you do come here to Uruguay. And the thing is, I know when you travel places, you see lists of there's 20 things you have to eat in this country, or a thousand things you have to eat before you die. Well, the thing is, is when you're a traveler, you don't always have a lot of time to eat all 50 things on those lists, okay? So what we're trying to do is give you the five best things to have when you do come here to Uruguay, because I know a lot of people maybe only come for a day trip from Buenos Aires or, or maybe the same for a long weekend to go to Montevideo or something like that. So I want to give you my five favorites and these are also some of the favorites that some of our fans have written to us when they told them we're going to Uruguay like Mark you have to have these and I'm so glad that you all gave me advice okay. Now the first thing you have to have when you come here is probably the tastiest most amazing steak sandwich you will have in your entire life. It's called Chevito and the thing is Chevito is it's a sandwich, okay? You think, well, a sandwich? What's so special about a sandwich? Well, these sandwiches are amazing. So you have bread, and then it's got a piece of steak in there. Oh my God. Lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise, and then there's ham and cheese like melted together. And then see the birds are going crazy because the next part is then there's an egg on top. And then the bread, oh my God, it is fantastic. You definitely want to have that when you're here. And let's say you're watching your carbs, so you don't want the bread. Well, you can get chivito al plato, which is basically all the meat stuff, and then it's on top of kind of potatoes instead. But that is one thing you have to have when you come here. That's one thing is our Uruguayan travelers, fellow travelers, they wrote to us and said, dude, you have to have this. And I had it 20 years ago the first time I was here and I'd forgotten about it. And I'm really glad they reminded me because when I got here and had it again, I'm like, oh yes, I remember that heavenly sandwich. So definitely have Chivita when you are here. Second thing you want to have when you are here is have asado, okay? You want to have grilled meat. You want to have the beef. Oh my God, the steaks here. Beef de chorizo is fantastic. Lomo, like tenderloin. Oh my God, it's so good. See, they're, they're happy now that I'm talking about not bird food, okay? But the thing is, is also if you want to have, you know, asado with chicken or, or the sausages, oh my God, it's so good when you are here. But the thing is, is Uruguay is a meat-eating country. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, it's going to be a little tough when you are here. The salads are fine, but I'm just telling you, this is a meat-eating society, and you're going to love the meat when you are here. So definitely, definitely, definitely have the steaks, have the beefs. Oh my God, it is so good, all right? Now, the third thing you want to have when you're here is actually a drink, and it's called mate, or yerba mate. And what it is, is when you walk around, you're going to see all these people with these thermoses with hot water. And they're going to the stores to refill up their hot water, and you're like, why are all these people getting all this hot water? It's because they're pouring into these little gourds, these little cups, with silver straws coming out of it. And the thing is, yerba mate, it's, it's like leafy kind of stuff. You put it in there, pack it down, and then you pour hot water on it, and so it seeps into the, the water, seeps into the leaves and stuff like that and then you drink it out. Oh my God, and the thing is, the people here drink it like crazy. It's all over the place, especially if you're here in the winter time. They're like, uh, yeah, you have to have mate all the time. And it's a whole culture of mate when it's here. Make sure you you know, you stay in the circle of who's drinking which one, and make sure you know who the person is that pours, because not everyone gets to pour. Sometimes it's a person whose gourd it is. I mean, there's all these things here, but you want to have it because it really is kind of a traditional thing to have when you are here. And the thing is, you might not see it at the restaurant, so you might need to pick something up on your own. And believe me if you go by any tourist shop they will have your own your know, mate gourd to have so you can get make your own mate and drink out of there and the silver straws are pretty cool but yes you got to have the mate though I will warn you the first time I had it I had like seven cups of it and I forgot how like caffeinated it can be and it kept me awake for like days okay so just heads up for that one now the fourth thing I'd recommend for you to have here is to go along with all that steak, you want to have the wine. And the tannin wine that's from here in Uruguay is actually really, really good. I know your Argentine wine and Chilean wine are super famous around the world, whereas the Malbec in Argentina, things like that. Here it's tannin wine. And the thing is, there's such small, it's like such a small area that they can grow it in or that they do produce, that it's not something you find in the US or Europe. So when you come here, make sure you get that tannin wine because the reds with the meat, oh my God, it just like, it's, like, it's so smooth to drink but it really brings out the flavors of the meats so make sure you drink the red wine when you're here but it's the tannin wine okay that's what you want to have that's something really special just from here and the fifth thing and the sweetest thing to have when you do come here to Uruguay is dulce de leche and dulce de leche is kind of like a caramel you know it's it's cooked you know caramelized milk and sugar and stuff like that but it's so much better it's so much more than just saying caramel you know it's it's dulce de leche and you might have it with different things you might have it in a pancake you might put it on your toast in the morning it might be 
in some kind of cakes and stuff like that. It's really, really fantastic. But for me, the best thing to have it in is when you're going down the street and you see a kiosk and they're selling your Cokes or your drinks or your snacks or something like that. So when you're going walking by those kiosks, go in and get an alfajor. I know I'm saying it wrong. Alfajor, alfajores, these kind of things. And what it is, it's, it's a cookie and then dulce de leche and another cookie and then all covered in chocolate or you get a triple where it's cookie dulce de leche cookie dulce de leche cookie with all covered in chocolate oh my god they are so good and any checkout aisle will have them here in uruguay you will find them i you know i gave some to the kids that are hopped up on dulce de leche right now but they are really really good so make sure you grab one and actually they make really cool they make really cool gifts to come back home because it's individually packed you can give it to your buddies and they'll enjoy it so make sure you do grab one of those or just get anything with dulce de leche one of the things I found it's really good is you get some of the ice cream with a dulce de leche is like ribbon through the ice cream. It is fantastic. So I have a few things that I'd like to add to the things you have to eat while you're in Uruguay. And one of them is papas fritas con champignon. It's just french fries with a mushroom cream sauce on top. And it's really excellent. It's definitely rich, so it, you should share it. Although you won't want to share it, you should definitely share it. Another thing that I'd like to share with you is my favorite new drink. It's called Medio y Medio, and it's half sparkling white wine and half dry white wine. Um, and every time I've had it, there's been a cherry in the bottom, but it's really tasty. Um, a nice after dinner drink or a pre dinner drink, or both at the same time. <laughs> So if you only got a day, you can get all these things in. If you got a few days, you definitely can get all these in when you do come here to Uruguay. So if you want to learn more, the don'ts of visiting Uruguay, maybe some facts about visiting Uruguay, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time here in Uruguay. And yes, you will enjoy your time here because, oh my God, the meats are so good. The dulce de leche. I wonder if I could do dulce de leche and steak together. There's only one way to find out. Bye from Uruguay.